Hello everyone, uh, in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my first ever over the board game and uh, it was quite uh, interesting and I there's some stuff that you can learn from it. Um, also if you're new around here I make videos for anyone who's looking to improve and um, without uh, saying any more let's get into the game. So um, my opponent started the game off with e4, c6, d4, c5. The Karakhan. Uh, my opponent has uh, many options here. He can go e5. Um, yeah, he can go here. He can take. Um, but my opponent decided to go knight d2. I took. Uh, he took. And now went uh, knight d7, known as the Carpal variation. And um, I mean, there's, there's many known moves here. There's uh, knight g5, bishop c5, knight f3 even queen e2 um, and here my opponent played um, knight f3 I continued with uh, knight f6 takes takes and bishop d3 and uh, one more thing to um, just say is that my opponent here is rated about 18 is rated 1800 um, somewhere along in the 1800s uh, over the board um, and so yeah this is my first over the board game um, so I went bishop g4 now he went um, c3, and um, here I went e6. Now um, here my opponent played uh, h3, just asking what my bishop is going to do. Um, I'm not going to take, I'm going to uh, keep the pin, and um, if he ever plays uh, g5, it's, it's, it's all fine for me. Um, so h5. And uh, here my opponent kind of played the, the mo uh, move for kind of let me equalize, I would say. Uh, here my opponent played bishop e2, and um, now he's kind of wasted a tempi, and I, I just feel like black's equalized. Uh, the main um, the main objective for black in the opening is just pretty much to equalize anyway, so I have pretty much achieved what I wanted to do. Anyway, it uh, doesn't mean I'm going to be uh, winning the game easily or anything at all. Anyway, uh, bishop d6, um, castles, and uh, castles. Um, and now my opponent played the best move um, with knight e5. He's getting uh, rid of this pin, and um, he's moving his knight to the center. Uh, obviously, I don't want to take because um, then I just give up the bishop. Um, so I take, take. Uh, we trade pieces, and now um, here I go, uh, queen c7. Uh, now you might be thinking, oh, what happens if um, uh, bishop g5? Uh, well. You might it's it's fine. I can um I'm not actually really scared of him taking anyway. Um because it it will uh give me control of the e five square. Um and yeah, so uh, so it's not it's it's all fine. Um Queen C seven. Uh now my opponent played C four. So um C four is to stop me coming to um D my knight from coming to D five. Uh, so I played c5. Uh, one thing to notice here is that my opponent has um, these two pawns in the center, and he has this knight. So uh, my opponent probably has a more central pre pre presence than me. Um, and when your opponent has a more central control than you, um, you always, always need to contest it, or your opponent will just uh, dominate, dominate, uh, dominate the game. So c5. Now I'm uh, contesting the center, and I uh, hit my opponent. Plays knight f3. Um, and now here I played a uh, rook c8 and b3. Um, he's just def defending this pawn. Um, now here was uh, the f the first uh, moment in the game where I was. Uh, it's because it's quite a dry position, so it's not it's not exactly easy to um, work out what to do. Um, I was maybe thinking about uh, bringing my knight, trying to get my knight. Uh, to a better square, um, but I, but I ended up taking, um, and I took. It's actually the best move, um, but it's the best move for for a reason that I did not uh, know. Um, and now here, um, here Black actually has a a move that it it's it's not like uh, winning. It, it does. It, I mean, the engine will say that it's pretty much equal. Um, but what would you play here for black? Um, what would you play here for black? Um, 
it's quite a dry position so it's going to be quite hard um but if you if you do want to pause the video i would i would literally love to hear what you'd say um but the the correct i think one of the correct uh, moves here well i think the correct move here and the whole point of taking is to go bishop uh, c5 uh, now we get our bishop on this diagonal and now our queen actually controls more squares so um we're we're moving we're moving a piece to make our other piece control more squares and now we're we're also doing with tempi um and we also have our bishop on this diagonal um yeah that that was the correct move but here i played a pretty uh, idiotic move and when i was playing it i knew it was idiotic like that's just how idiotic the move was i even knew it was a bad move um but here i went uh, bishop e5 and um, this is my whole idea, even though I knew it was not a good idea. Because uh, one one important thing to note here is that black is actually, he has more development here. Remember that white had to waste the move with bishop e2, he's moved his knight lots of times. Um, and yeah, black's more developed here. Uh, so black does actually have a development advantage. Um, so when playing bishop e5, it's not really accomplishing anything uh, really at all. If anything, it's just making my bishop um, vulnerable. So yeah, it's just a, a pretty bad move. Anyway, I played bishop e5, uh, thinking I was kind of pinning the knight, but definitely doesn't because just bishop b2 and he's fine. And um, my idea was to just to put pressure on this knight, but it really doesn't does nothing. Um, and now here I played a uh, uh, queen c5. What's uh, just a terrible move. Um, because this whole idea with bishop e5 and uh, queen c5 is just completely wasted so much time and just wasted lots of moves. And now we're here, white to play and pretty much to win the whole game. So um, try and uh, find the move. Um, so if you did find it, uh, if you haven't, pause the video. But the move here is um, 96. And um, yeah, I completely blundered. As soon as I played Queen C5, I saw it, and um, I, I was even just I, I was I was trying to act over the board as if I hadn't blundered. That's one thing we can do over the board. You you can um you can just like keep nodding your head as if nothing's wrong, um, even though I knew I just blundered. So I took, and um, this position is pretty terrible. I have an isolated pawn now, weak king, and um, Genix. And I'm, um, what am I, a pawn down? Yeah, I'm a pawn down. Wait, so he t yeah. Am I just a piece down, actually? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm pawn down. Um, here, and terrible position. So here, um, I played uh, 97. But here, he should have took with the queen. Because um, he's threatening this pawn, he can uh, put pressure on it. And also, he's, uh, he's yeah, I have to maybe, he's um, offering a tra queen trade. So he just, yeah, and he just puts his queen on a good diagonal. Um, but he took with the bishop. Still pretty much winning. Uh, knight d7. Uh, e5. I wanted to put my knight on f6. Um, rook. Yeah, rook d1, yeah, queen e7, rook d5, it's actually, a, I think it's actually quite a good move, um, but yeah, takes, I uh, tried to make an outpost for my knight, <clears throat> but yet again, it's black, black to move, and just to completely wipe me off the board, um, we'll give you a couple seconds to find the winning move, um, even though the position's completely winning, and yes, it is, Bishop a3, what I just blundered, but I was already just low morale when I blundered that piece, so um, I wasn't really thinking. I tried a bit more, um, but yeah, and then he just uh, forced uh, an exchange of rooks, but um, it all really stemmed back to uh, when I was up in development, I was um, completely just up in development, and then I wasted it with bishop e5. And it's a mistake I'll try and never do again. There's one thing to note is when I'm one thing I'll try and remember, and hopefully you can uh, learn this in your own game, is when you're up develop when you're up in development, don't waste tempies. 
on random moves. You know, I, I saw I was up development and I kind of, I kind of, um, kind of started panicking. Think, oh, I, I, you know, I'm up in development. I must uh, have some winning tactic. And I just wasn't composed at all. Um, yeah, just composure is very key. And um, here I should have gone bishop c5 and just played a normal game. Um, now my bishop is not being attacked when I put it here. It's, you know, it's, it's quite loose. Um, I should have here and just opened up my queen. I can bring my rooks into the center. <clears throat> and yeah, I should have just played the game instead of um, playing bishop b5, what accomplishes nothing. Uh, but yeah, that, that was the game. Anyway, uh, I will actually be making, very soon, I will be making a series on the uh, Karo Khan. The, um, I will be making a series on all the theory. Um, so the Karpov variation, uh, the classical variation, um, ideas for black and white. Uh, I'll be making these videos very soon, so make sure you subscribe if you do want to see it. Also, uh, I will be responding to all the comments and uh, let me know what's your favorite um, what's your favorite way to play against or with the Karakhan as black or white. And um, yeah, uh, anyway, uh, I'll see you in the next uh, video.